This is Hollywood reporting from Lifestyle of the Dogs. His movies were Skipper Come Home, The Maltese Dog, The Adventures of Skipper, and National Maltese, for which received the Oscar for Best Supporting Dog. When his latest movie, Just Say No Maltese, flopped, he went into a downward spiral. The final blow came when his live-in dog mate, Fifi Rome, released a sex tape called Skipper Does Fifi. After the release of this tape, he checked himself into dog rehab to overcome his addiction to hemp seeds. After checking out of the rehab facility, he returned to his San Francisco seascape condo. No one heard from him for days and it was rumored that he was with Fifi Rome. However, Fifi Rome was back in Paris. At this point in time, officials are still waiting a sign of life from this Maltese. Skipper, wherever you are, our prayers are with you. And she'll always be my little girl. She'll be fine, Jack. It just bothers me. First she says she doesn't want to be my partner anymore. Then she puts in a request to go to another office. And then she moves out of the house and goes out with that French guy. They went to Paris. Jack, you need to give Sam some space to grow. Let her live her own life and make her own decisions. Otherwise she won't know. I guess you're right. You know I'm always right. Look how many white hairs you got on your head. <laughs> You sure you pushed the right button? Yes, I did. You're always forgetful. <sighs> you know, I thought Sam liked being my partner. I don't know what I did. I don't know what went wrong. You know why? Because you keep nagging her, just like a typical father. <sighs> Enough already. You're the one who brought up Sam. Uh, this, what floor are we supposed to go on? We're supposed to go on the second floor. What's wrong with you? It's the Sam thing. I just don't have my focus. Yeah, I know. Two? You made me look like a fool walking out there. Two? Yes. Do you want me to put you for you? Yes. Would you please? See, watch my finger. Two. You always have to be right. Of course. Oh, I thought you were going to take out your glasses. No, these are my notes. Oh, you take notes? When did you start taking notes? Uh, when you get older, you take a lot of notes. Yeah, I could see with that white hair. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You know, Jack and I go way back. You know, we even went through the training academy together. He cheated a few times on the test, but I never told anybody. You know, we even dated a few times. Thank goodness it didn't last. People say I look like Richard Gere. Uh, what, the Asian version of Richard Gere? No, the cute version of Richard Gere. I don't think so. Give me a break. You know, one good thing about Jap, he's the nicest guy in the world, and he's a darn good FBI agent, but he's a bad kisser. Don't you think? He's a bad kisser. But, uh, you know, all I could say is that he worries too much. Just like his mom. Oh my god. Oh, thank god you're here. FBI. FBI. Hi. Please come in. Good afternoon. I'm Agent Wong from Hong Kong. Hi. And this is Agent Fong from Canton. Hi. Were you expecting two Wongs or two Fongs? Oh, just come on in. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. I'm really glad that Rachel's my new partner. Ah, we dated a few times back at the academy. Oh, gee, those were the disco days. Rachel was such a great dancer. You know, disco, the robot. Thank you so much for coming. Sure. Can I get you anything to drink? Uh, yes, coffee, please. Coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, Agent Fong, would you like something? Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you. Okay, Thank excuse you. me. Anything. I'll be right back. Thank you. Have a seat, please. <sighs> so, are you going to take more notes now? Y yeah. And I got a pen that works. You know, have you heard of a digital voice recorder now? <laughs> I can't even figure out my cell phone. 
You want, me to, you want me to get one of those recorder things? This is, tr trust me, this works. Okay. Pen, paper, you know, old school. Whatever works. Take some notes. Maybe you'll learn something. You know, we do, the, we do it differently here in San Francisco. All right. Not that East Coast stuff. You know what? You gotta get into the technology stuff. The digital voice recorder works very good. Especially when you're taking notes. You don't need to jot it down, you just put it in reverse. I, I have beautiful handwriting, so uh, my notes are just like using Word software. You know, I've seen your notes, they look like chicken scratch. Well, maybe that's your opinion. As much as I look forward to working with Rachel after all these years, I still can't get over how things ended up with Sam. I can't believe she didn't consult with me about her decision to go to another office. And moving out of the house, what's up with that? She ran off with that French guy. I didn't even know she liked him. I, I guess that's just me. You know, some people call me a warrior. And I'm just being dad. She's my little girl. I just hope she's okay, that's all. I just hope she's happy. I just want what's best for her, that's all. Wow, take a look around. There's a lot of teddy bears here. What's up with all the teddy bears? Oh, look. This one looks like you, Jack. Look at that white hair. My name is Agent Fong. How are you? Oh. Oh, here's your coffee. Oh, thanks. There you go. Thank hey, you. What's up with all the teddy bears? Oh, I make these. They're all handmade bears by me. Really? Yes. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to make. Hey, she thinks this one looks like me. Do you think so? Slight resemblance, yes. Uh, you just make make it a little bit more Asian. It'll look like him. Okay, and the maybe, next one. Maybe we're right here. Okay. Okay. You got it. But well, we're here about Thank Skipper. You. I was in total shock when I came home and Skipper was gone. He's loved by everyone. I mean, who would dog nap Skipper? Everyone loves him. Bring back my dog! Here's a ransom note that was delivered anonymously. Here. And then here's his uh, paw print autograph. Great. You know, this one actually looks like Agent Fong's footprints. Not the hand, the foot. Well, I don't know if you know, Skipper is a very famous uh, movie actor, dog actor, and his paw print was just put into cement at Chinese Grauman's Theater in Hollywood. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing. No yes. wonder the abductor is asking for three million. That's right. Why couldn't they kidnap you for three million? Who would want me? Yeah, you would. Maybe three bucks. Can you think of anybody who would want to abduct Skipper? No, not at all. When I came home from work and he was gone, I was thinking, well, who would want to dognap Skipper? He's loved by everyone. That's exactly what we're asking. Often in these cases, these abduction cases, the perpetrator has actually had contact with the victim's immediate family. Really? Do you mind if we take a look around? No, the please. I want to show you what happened out on the balcony. It looked like a struggle took place out there. It sounds good. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, okay. thank you. So this is what the police found. They uh, took the photos, they dusted for prints, and they left it because they knew that the FBI was going to be coming by to take a look at it as well. So, please. Have um, you moved uh, any of the prints? No, nothing. Nothing's been touched. Can I take a look at them? Please, go ahead. Well, Skipper arrived in San Francisco five years ago, and um, he's been very active since he's gotten here. Uh, one of his causes is to help animals in need. And so one of the events that he was doing was the first ever world event to end animal cruelty. And this was a project we just started working on. So um, I'm really upset that uh, we can't continue this project because he's not here right now. Wow, look like Skip is quite a rock star. Well, he's the breadwinner of the family, so he has to live large. <laughs> Do you mind? No, please go ahead. Take a look okay. at whatever you need to. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I also noticed, and the police did as well, that his dog food bowl had gotten knocked over. And that usually never happens. He's a very neat eater, so... Um, Could that happen at the time when the dog member came in and there was a struggle? Totally possible, people? yes. Jack, look what I found. Where'd you get that? Actually, in Skipper's room. Look, I can't believe you missed it. I looked all over. There's something wrong with your eyesight. Look, the cord's been cut. I'll make a note of that. Please. Maybe that's a clue to something. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you have an iguana? I used to have one. Um, her and Skipper were best friends until she passed away. Oh, what happened? Well, she developed stomach muscle hypertrophy. It's a disease that rabbits and iguanas get, and they can't digest their food properly. Sounds like what Jack has. 
Ha ha ha. It's called acid reflux. He can't digest. Oh. So this is a picture of Fifi. She's the one that did that sex tape with Skipper. And she left in such a hurry, she left her um, red heart t-shirt behind and even her diamond studded dog bone necklace. I didn't know they make that type of movies for dogs. They do, really. Hmm. Can I get a copy? Jack, what do you need it for? Uh, I'm just asking. Uh, there might be some clues uh, from a collection. Really? Uh, uh, can we uh, talk about something else? Yes. Anyway, I'm going to bring this over to the crime lab. Okay. And see if we could get any uh, leads out of this. Okay, great. Okay. Um, also, Skipper's Facebook page has been inundated with requests. What's going on? Has he been uh -huh. saved? Has anyone had any life signs? And also on eBay, there was an anonymous auction of some of clo some clothes that maybe even look like they might belong to Skipper. You mentioned on your Facebook, mm -hmm. right? It's been inundated with people, right? You know, trying to find, uh, you know, to basically to help you find exactly. Skipper. Could we take a look at that? Sure, sure. Let's go take a look. You Let me your, show you. you have your yeah. Computer close yes, by? I do. Okay, Let's go. that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, so here's Skipper's Facebook page. Wow, he did get a lot of hits. Have you received any e emails from the dog number? Let's go take a look. <gasps> look! <laughs> this guy's nuts. So he wants the $3 million ransom in unmarked, non-sequential $100 bills all in the back. And <laughs> look at this. He wants it placed at the replica Statue of Liberty at Embarcadero Cove Marina in Oakland. In Oakland? Uh, unless he meant New York because there's a Statue <sighs> of Liberty there. <laughs> there must be one. Are you sure this is going to be safe? Well, there's nothing to be afraid of because, you know, we'll be there watching you. Well, thank you, but I want Skipper to be safe, too. He'll well, be safe. We'll have a stakeout team to monitor the drop. Don't yeah, worry. Not, not a real stake, but a stakeout team. Are you sure Skipper's going to be safe? We'll do our best. I can assure you. Mm -hmm. Promise. We'll, we'll get Skipper back for you. Yeah, we will. We know how important he is to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm counting on you. you. Well, you can count on us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so FBI, much. FBI always delivers. Okay. Okay. You're going to get your dog. We'll get our dog. Okay. We yes. always get our dog. We always okay. get our dog. Okay. This is Hollywood reporting from Lifestyle of the Dogs. It has just been reported that Skipper's Facebook page has been inundated with overwhelming responses. Donations have been pouring in trying to meet the $3 million ransom. We will keep you posted on Skipper the Lost Maltese Dog as things develop. Hey, my million dollar perch, how you doing, you Skippy? Oh, Skippy. Oh, you got some treats for you there, babe. Skippy dog, here, let me get some treats for you. A million dollar treat here. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Okay. Alright, you million dollar baby, let me get on the phone here. The computer and send it message out. Alright guys, we're down to the wire here on my right, we better get Skipper back. You got the money, right? Got the money, right here. Right. That's a lot of loot. Three million dollars, yeah. so don't lose Let it. Let me see that. Well it's all in here. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna too? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take this back to the office and make sure that uh, it's safe after it's all over. Okay. Not a good idea, though. But. All right, listen. Main thing is we're going to get Skipper today, all right? Poor little fella. I hope he's not scared to death. Huh? Jack, I'm going to have you sitting on the bench there. Can you hear me on the... Uh, list? Give me a wire here, test here. Can, Can you, you hear, hear me, me now? now? No. He's having a senior moment. Uh, I'm just kidding. I put it in my right ear for a purpose. That's a good ear. That's oh. a good ear. That's a good ear. Good. Okay. So listen, here's, what, here's the plan. You're going to drop the money off in front of the uh, Statue of Liberty there. Oh, there is this. Yeah. Yeah, there is the right Statue there. of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty will open. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know. I thought it was in New York. Freedom. Jack, I'm going to have you on the bench over there, the black bench. Because he can't run anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, I'm going to have you at the uh, door up there to the restaurant. I'm going to be in my car here. I can see everything that's going on here, okay? 
Right, so we got two-way radio. Right? Yes. We're in contact with each other. We got the money. Got the money. Everybody's got their plan. Now listen. We want this guy alive, not dead. Let's not blow his head off. Right? <laughs> uh, you're looking at me when you say that? Oh, uh, just making sure that we got the plan here, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, Communicating. The thing is to get Skipper back. Nice glasses. Can you see yourself? No. Are you missing a spot? No, no, no. Okay. All right. Got it all down? Okay. All right. Here Let's we go. go. Ready? Teamwork. One, two, okay. three. Skipper! Skipper! Let's go. All right, I got you covered now. Okay. This better work. Jack's a good agent. A bit of a buffoon, but he's still a good agent. And uh, I think he'll do all right. Well, today's big day. This is where I bring in all my FBI training. We're going to catch this dog napper. We've got the $3 million. We're going to monitor the drop. I'm going to be a tourist, and we're going to bring back, um, uh, we're going to bring back Skipper, safe and sound, or my name is an Agent Jack Fong. Got it? So I get this Craigslist gig, you know, uh, some guy wants me to pick up some bag from some lady, said give me 500 bucks, I need that money. Yeah, my old lady, she she wants some new titties. At least pay for half of one or something. I don't know. I need that money. Okay, so we're here to rescue Skipper. This is the money drop. Everything's in here, three million. We also printed out these t-shirts. Have you seen Skipper? They've been distributed throughout the whole city. People are still looking for him. But uh, we're here now to deliver the ransom. Hopefully he's going to be okay. And um, we're going to hope for the best. The FBI guys are here and ladies. And um, yeah, I hope we can get him back. Okay, there she goes. She's in position now. No sign of anybody. Do you no. see anybody? No, no, no. I don't. That woman? Keep your maybe? eyes out. I don't think it's that woman. It doesn't, it's kind of obvious. I don't know. That guy looks kind of fishy right there. Keep an eye on him. Okay. I'm watching the other lady. She's okay. Looking right All right, he's moving. He's moving. There he goes. All right. Move in. Move in. Move in, Jack. Move in. Move in. He's going to the left. Hey, stop there, Jack, that guy. Jack, come on, hurry. You're running like an old man, Jack. He's going to the right. Oh, now he's going back Rachel, around. Rachel, go that way. Rachel, oh. go that way. What? what? Here he comes again. Jack. Hey, stop that Chase guy. Chase him, Jack. Chase him. Stop that guy. Oh, there he goes. What? What's this little stop girl doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Jack. Oh, she got... Oh. Stop him. Oh. oh, look at that girl. Oh. Good job. Good, Good job. I believe this. Get the bag. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, Jack. Handcuff him. Good job. Oh, thank you so much. Great job. All right. Thank you so much. Now, what to do with this two million dollars? Get up. Oh my God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Way to go, little girl. You know what? Why don't we um? See, I'm glad you got him down, but I don't even know how are we gonna move him. We thought you were gonna get away with it, and the little six-year-old girl stopped you, huh? <laughs> Jack, great job. Thanks. All of you, great job. Thank you. Okay. So listen, I'm going to take the money. Okay. Skipper's going to be uh, okay here. All right. And I'll take this back to the office. All make right. sure it uh, gets all counted and put away. Okay. Skipper's, uh, Skipper will be safe. We got our man. Mm -hmm. Take him in. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you later. Where's Skipper? Get off me, lady. Okay, okay back hey. off. Back off. We'll we handle this. this. All right. Hey, what's your name? Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. You know there used to be a famous comedian named Jerry Lewis? Yeah, he's still around somewhere. I think they like him in France. Anyway, I spell mine L-O-U-I-S, not L-E-W-I-S. Okay, Jerry. So take us to Skipper. I don't even know who the Skipper is. You don't know who Skipper is? No. He's a Maltese. What, some dude from Malta? No. He's a Maltese dog. A little dog about like this big. A dog? 
I did this job. I did this for a dog? Hey, we saw you take the backpack with the money. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I saw this ad on Craigslist. This guy was going to pay me 500 what bucks guy? just to pick up this bag and. So, what guy? I don't know. You're in a lot of trouble here. You're going to go away for a long time. Yeah. Well, what can we do? I. <sighs> Look, uh, we... tell us where Skipper is, okay? Who is this guy who offered you the money to steal the I have back? no idea. He told me to meet him at his boat. I think it was now we're scratch him, snip, sniff, no, scook him. Okay, then take us to the boat then. I don't know specifically where it is. Hey. It's somewhere here in the harbor. I think there was some uh, one-eyed cat near him, he said. We could cut hmm. you a deal, Jerry, if you take us to the boat. I, I'm willing to do work whatever you want, work you know? Us. Okay, you work with us. Tell us where the boat is. Mm -hmm. I told you all I know. I, I haven't been to the boat yet. I, I just know it's called Skookum. Is there a specific location on the dock? Did it, he say? I'm supposed to enter that one over over by where I grabbed the bag. All right. Did I you did, take I, a... I did see a one I cat over there, by the way. Okay. So, all right. I think we got enough. <sighs> My wife is going to kill me. <laughs> we needed that money. I didn't even get the $500. I don't know who's going to be more disappointed, her or me. I really wanted her to get those titties. Where have you been? I'm hungry. There was a long line. Oh, good. My Kung Pao chicken. Uh, uh, about the Kung Pao. Pao. They didn't have Kung Pao. They just had burgers. Huh? They just had burgers. What is this? I, I, I kind of got hungry on the way over here. Uh, I, you saved you, I saved you some fries. This is rabbit food. But there's some fries there. Like, I'm going to eat this. Uh. You touched it. Oh, what are you going to do now? Strip in front of me? Ha ha, I gotta get ready for the undercover. Oh, Kobe, where's the bee? First you don't like the jacket, now you don't like the shirt. Everybody loves Kobe. Oh, let's see, what else did you give me? Let me see. Uh, I think that one's empty too. What? What? You ate both of them? I got hungry. I, I saved oh, geez. There's some fries in there. Oh, the smell. Oh. Well, anyway, this undercover thing. Oh, oh. What? If we get this guy, I was thinking, yeah. you're going to go to the movies with me. I go to the movies with you. Yeah. You keep doubting me. I'm going to prove you wrong. If we get this guy, you're going to the movies with me. Okay, fine. I can't believe I agreed to a date with Jack if he wins this bet. He took my cap. He took my sunglasses. Looks like a silly train conductor. I'm not sure if the, if the dog napper is going to buy into that. I really hope I win this bet. Gosh, it'd be so nice to go out with Rachel after all these years. So the FBI agents are going to get Skipper. I hope he gets rescued and he comes home safe and sound. And um, can't wait to get him back. Where are you? I wonder if he knows where to go. Oh, there he is. Huh? Who? Who's there? Chinese takeout. Uh, no, I, I didn't order that. This is the yeah, this is the skookum. Oh, uh, it's uh, must have been my neighbors or something. Yeah, go ahead, bring bring it aboard. Uh, oh, that smells good. I I I like Chinese food. Yeah, one of my neighbors must have got this for me. I guess. Those clothes for a dog? Oh, oh no, them them. We, we have a cat. My wife likes to dress the kitty up in, in funny clothes now and then. What's up with that magazine? There's some letters missing. Oh, what do you mean magazine? In that uh, New York right there. Oh, we were doing some collaging work or something like that. 
Yeah, well, our What's that sound? That sounds like a dog. Oh, there's, there's no dog around here. FBI, hands up. Oh. Uh. Rachel, Rachel, we got him. Come on aboard. Yeah. Hands yeah. up. Come out of here. Come up on deck. Put those hands up. Yes, sir. Oh crap, I lost my vintage jack. Now I have to go on a date with him. Not what I got. I got Skipper back. Skipper the big movie star. I think this dog belongs to you. Hey, Skipper. Yes, hi. yes. Hey, hi. Hey, hey. hey, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, welcome. Thank you. I told you we'd get him back. You did, and you did get him back. Safe and sound. And you know, I actually won a bet with Agent Wong. Really? Yeah. I told her that if we got Skipper back, she'd have to go to the movies with me. You can go see his latest movie. We will. We will. So guess okay. what? Agent Wong's going to the movies with me. Cool. Speaking of Agent Wong, I better go okay. catch up with her. But okay. Bye-bye, Skipper. Bye-bye. Hey, Skipper, look. Say hi to your fans. Say hi to your fans. I don't know if I'm more happy getting Skipper back or winning that bet with Rachel. We get to go out to the movies. I think I'll wear my 50s jacket. That'll really impress her. And I think uh, I'll sing a Frank Sinatra song for her. Scooby-dooby-doo, I did it my way. Or maybe... Um, she likes that hot and spicy dance that I did for her. Anyway, I'm out of here. Oh my god, I gotta go out with Jack now. I lost the bet. I shouldn't have bet. Now I gotta go out with Jack on this date Tuesday night. Whoopee! Well, one good thing out of this is that we got Skipper back. Happy about that. Skipper, hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You're back home. Yes, yes. Tell me a secret. Tell me a secret. Yes, good boy. Good boy. He's back. He's back. Good boy. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Can't wait to see you again. Ah, oh, yes. Good boy, huh? Good boy. Good boy. Yes, boy. Well, the FBI got me on this dog napping. I should, right now, I should have been down in Cabo San Lucas. With my boat, sipping my tides, enjoying the good life. But I had to use Craigslist and hired this pickup artist guy, and he he fumbled up the whole show. All right. I'm happy now. This is great. Now, about that $3 million. Hmm. I'm going to get even with that dog. You'll see. <laughs> This is AJ Raj reporting for DNN. Celebrity dog actor Skipper the Maltese was rescued during a daring daylight raid by FBI agents over the weekend. The dog napper, whose name has not been released, was apprehended aboard a sailboat where Skipper was being held captive. FBI Special Agents Jack Fong and Rachel Wong led the raid after discovering the dog napper's whereabouts from an unwitting accomplice who was sent to pick up the ransom money. Skipper the Maltese was best known for his performances in The Maltese Dog, The Adventures of Skipper and National Maltese for which he was awarded the Oscar for Best Supporting Dog. His dog napping ordeal began soon after his last movie Just Say No to Maltese flopped, sending him into a downward spiral and forcing him to check into dog rehab to overcome his addiction to hemp seeds. After checking out of the rehab facility, he returned to his San Francisco seascape condo no one heard from him for days and it was rumored that he was with former lover Fifi Rome. However, Fifi Rome was reportedly back in Paris. When the police went to his condo, they could see that a struggle took place. They found an unused hemp seed bag among other rawhide paraphernalia. The FBI was immediately called in to investigate the abduction case. A ransom note was later anonymously posted on Skipper's Facebook page demanding $3 million for his release. The dog nappers even took some of the outfits that he wore in, in his hit movies and tried to anonymously auction them off on eBay. 
In a shocking twist to this dog napping story, Skipper's $3 million ransom money mysteriously vanished along with F veteran FBI agent Jim Smith during the weekend rescue operation. An investigation into the missing ransom money is currently underway. FBI officials refused to comment on Agent Smith's sudden disappearance. Smith was a 35-year veteran agent with the FBI. He reportedly took several colleagues that he was planning on retiring in style. We will update this story as more details become available.